Hello everyone, it's me, Mrs. Gronert, and today we are going to be making a really fun project. We're going to be making wanted posters. Who are we making the poster for? Well, of course we're making the poster of the gingerbread man. Everybody wants to catch the gingerbread man, but he's too fast. One way people all around the world use to find things that are missing is by creating a wanted poster. And that's what we're going to do today. What do you need for your wanted poster? Well, you'll need an 11 by 17 paper, an eight and a half by 11 paper. This paper should be white. The 11 by 17 paper can be any color you want it to be. You also need an eight and a half by 11 lined piece of writing paper. You'll need pencil, colors, glue, and maybe even some glitter to make your poster shine. Okay, let's take a look at what we're doing today. The first thing we're going to do is take our time and draw a very beautiful picture of the gingerbread man, because he is the one everyone wants. Here's my picture. I tried to make it look like he was running and laughing because that's what he does. Once you've drawn and colored your gingerbread man, make sure you take your time to make him look wonderful. You're going to get your 11 by 17 paper. And the first thing you're going to do is at the very top of this paper, write the word wanted in nice, big and clear letters. I used all capital letters to make it easy to see and read. I even put stars in the corners and added a little dotted line underneath. This is the beginning of my wanted poster. Now, I'm going to take my picture of the gingerbread man and glue it right underneath that line, right there. Once I have that done, I get to start the fun part, which is the description of the gingerbread man. How do we describe characters? Well, one of the best things that we do to describe characters is use adjectives and verbs. Remember, adjectives are words that describe people, places, and things, and verbs are their actions. So we want to use some of these really good words, adjectives and verbs, to describe the gingerbread man. We can even use some sentence frames to help us, like this one, he, blank, and blank. I can add verbs in here. He runs and sings. <laughs> he does. He always sings, run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Another sentence frame you can use is the blank adjective, gingerbread man, blank verb. Hmm, maybe I could say the yummy gingerbread man runs. Oh, that would be a good sentence, wouldn't it? That would be a cool one. You can also use more than one adjective in a sentence to describe the gingerbread man. So you could write, the gingerbread man is brown and spicy. <laughs> You'll do all of your writing on your lined piece of paper. Notice, before I started writing my sentences, I wrote the words, the gingerbread man. Now it's your turn. Add your words to the page. Write neatly and in complete sentences. 
This way, other people can read your writing and tell more about who they're looking for, that sneaky gingerbread man. I'm going to give you some time now to complete your poster and your writing, and I'll show you what mine looks like when it's all put together. Once you've finished your writing, glue it onto the poster. Then your finished poster will look a little bit like this. Once you've finished, find a good place to, put, to hang it up. You might hang it up somewhere in your school or around your home. Make sure everyone can see it and read the information so that maybe they'll be able to catch that sneaky gingerbread man. I hope you have fun making your wanted poster today, and I hope to see you again very soon.